All right, guys, welcome back again. This is your boy Cravy Stage Pro, aka Mr. G Content. So, today I am going to be showing you how to make your first beat in FL Studio. So, if you've never made a beat before or you were using different DAWs, then this is the right place for you. So, this tutorial is designed for absolute beginners, somebody who've never touched FL Studio, somebody who don't know what this is, what's that. So, this is the right place for you. Probably, this is the only tutorial we need to start making bangers. So, without wasting your much time, guys, let's go straight to the work. First of all, let's assume you already downloaded FL Studio. If not, then head up to imageline.com, download the trial version or just buy it right away okay so but if it's a trial version trial version it will work perfectly fine okay all right so let's go ahead and open up our fl studio 20 this is fl studio 21 the way you check there you come to help about so it says up top here fl studio 21 all right so first thing let's go to file Remember this, this is very important. Every time you open up FL Studio, just make sure you start like how I'm, how I'm about to show you, okay? So first thing, let's go to new from template and then minimal and then go all the way to empty so that no effects, no nothing will be available at the moment. Click empty. Save changes to and say no. All right, so right now we have everything empty. So the first thing that we have to look up, it's uh, these main things right here on top. This, the playlist, the piano roll, uh, the channel rack, the mixer, and I don't know what they call this one. This is uh, like all these uh, presets and everything. So... It's called a browser. Let's call it a browser according to this right here. So what, what we have to do now, so just after knowing all of these, boom, we are ready to make beats. But let's not rush, guys. There is one more important thing to consider whenever we open a full studio. So go to option. Make sure your audio is the right format, okay? Go to options, audio settings, Jesus Christ options audio settings okay so just choose whatever you are using if you have an audio interface just come right here and choose the right one so in this case i'm using a scarlet usb if you don't have an interface just choose fl studio whatever the default device is boom you're ready to go so in this case i'm using scarlet 2i2 usb sound card okay and then make sure your buffer length is uh good enough okay all right so now what is next now let me show you something important this is the place where you'll be making all your beats so this is like the channel rack this is where you compose everything you made the melodies the drums almost everything okay but there are multiple ways of doing this stuff but I'm going to show you the easiest way to get started. You know, we have a lot of things around all of these things on our left side. All these uh, mixers things, okay? So let's minimize things. So this is called the channel rack, like I said before. So this is where we put all our instruments and drum set. Then we start composing our beats. So, guys... After everything, what do we need to do? Right now, we can't hear nothing because there is nothing going on, okay? Even if I hit play, now we can hear absolutely nothing. But unless if I activate this here, it's called a metronome. Now we can hear something. So this is the metronome. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn it off. Guys, so first thing, to start making a beat, you got to consider yourself, okay, what kind of beat do I need to make? Because in this world, we have a lot of genre, so nobody can make every kind of music, so we have limitations. 
don't limit yourself just to go ahead and pick up a topic so this is where a lot of people fails so they're trying to make beats okay what kind of beat do you want to make we have trap music we have hip-hop we have r&b we have lo-fi we have uh, adm we have afro pop we have afro beats okay guys we have all this reggae stuff we have reggae tone from latin okay so we have a lot of kind of music a lot of kind of styles a lot of styles a lot of topics so first thing you gotta know what kind of beat do i need to make but as an absolute beginners i'm gonna teach you just i'm gonna show you the workflow and walk you through what's this and what's that so that you can make your first beat so after figuring out what we want to make right now i don't have any idea what we want to make but i'm going to show you in just a second so go to your left side if you can't see this database right here which is called a browser just go right here click on this thing right here if it's like this just click right here boom it's gonna pop up like this and then go to a place called packs click right here so this is where we have all of our drums so all of these drums comes inside of our studio okay so now we can navigate through them so we have drums so drums contains cymbals hats kicks kits percussion sound effects snares and toms okay so the way i work everybody prefer its own way but i love starting with drums sometimes it depends on the mood but in this case let's start with drums all right now i'm gonna go ahead and open my kicks choose the kick that you want the kick that sounds good to your eye to your ears i mean Hmm, I'm kind of liking this one. Just take your time and pick the best one. Okay, let's take this one. So there's multiple ways to put this on the channel rack. You can drag and drop, or you can just right click and open a new channel. Boom, just like that. So now we have our kick. Now, the second thing, I'm gonna take a. Um, let's take a snare. I mean, I'm gonna take a. Um, let's say oh, some claps. So I'm gonna open my percussions. So let's not go too crazy, okay? Because it's just a demonstration to give you an idea how to start making beats. So I'm going to take this, right click, or just drag and drop on your channel rack. Just like that. Okay, after that, I'm going to take hi-hat. I love this one. Just right click, open a new channel. All right, and now what else? Um now let me get um some snares let me take this one all right now i have now i have my kick claps hi-hat snares all right now we're ready to make a beat so this is all my drums you can go crazy or you can sometimes the little the better okay so in this case let's make um let's make an adm drums electronic music drums so the best way to do that is so um, you can right click fill each four steps just like that if you play now you heard a sound yeah so but the best way that i love doing it is uh by right clicking 
open the piano roll. So this gives you a lot of options to draw whatever you want to draw in the piano rolls. So just always, almost always use the C5. This is the middle. This is the original sound. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my drums. Okay, so remember, these are the bars. Just make sure you follow this high, high, this, uh, this kind of line, the hard line. So I'm going to go ahead and try. And I think that's fine. Now let's play. So as a beginner, it's really hard to know where to put your drums, to put your kicks, to draw your, um, your drums. So just uh, activate your metronome. Let me delete it. And start by listening. Put your first note. And then, you see, now we messed up. Now we have to put right here. So he has to go with a, the metronome. Okay, now, you see how it's start messed up? And then just keep drawing. Boom, now we're done. So if you want, you can tune it off. Now we have our basic kick. So in electronic music, their kicks always sounds almost always they sound like boom 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 okay so after that now i will take my claps so i want it to sound like okay so what, what do i need to do just to open up the piano rolls so we'll see those notes of the kicks so these are like the ghost notes, that's what they call them. So now I can draw freely by following these notes. Okay. Do, ka, do, ka, do, ka. So, so the first note to be right here. Let's see. All right, that's really fire. So the second one will be right here. All right, all right now, by just using two things, the kicks and the claps, now we are already getting the vibes, okay? The, uh, the drums. All right, so that's not enough. So down here, let's make our drums a little bit more interesting. So right now, we already finished. It's only, we only need a... A kick and a clap. Boom. You're done. Drums completed. But let's make them a little bit more interesting. So you will be playing with this. Just feel comfortable playing around with each stuff. So if, you're, if you messed up something, remember there's this key called undo. So you can always undo if you messed up something and it will undo. All right, so to make this thing sound a little bit more interesting, we got to add some hi-hats. So I want it to sound like... You know? So a lot of times, sometimes we sing in our head, so you know what you need. So now it's time to just uh, show the computer. Okay, I want it to sound like this. So now let's try it out. All right, this was perfect. Alright, now let's see where to put these notes. Okay, so here's the a quick tip. So if it's your first time watching a tutorial on how to make beat, just make sure you're following everything. Just copy the method, learn and copy, do your own stuff. Copy everything as it is. Put the notes, pause the video if I'm too fast or slow it down a little bit. And then if I'm too slow, just speed it up. Just make sure you copy every single step to make sure you get the same sound and same vibes.
All right, I want you to finish like. Right. So now our drums are a little bit more interesting. If I turn this off, it's just a boring dead drums. But if I turn it on, now you can hear a massive difference. Now it's more interesting, more joyful, more danceable. All right. So now it's time to use our snares. So what do I want this sound? I don't have any song idea in my head. Let's just use some random ideas. So let's go. Okay. Let's try that one. Nope. So let's say, just take your time and figure it out how you want it to sound. Okay. All right. So now I have an idea. So in this case, my drum sounds good. So I didn't get an idea. So what I, what I will do is snares. I'ma put it all like that. So what? Well, it's like a drum feel, drum roll at the end of the sentence, at the end of our beats. So just like this. So our drums right now, we are done with our drums. So guys, like I said, just take your time, copy all the methods as it is. So start with a kick. I started with a kick. Okay, just pause the video, copy all the nuts. I'm going to zoom it in. Just make sure on this uh, thing right here, it's called, uh, I don't know. So just click right here and then choose line. So this is the best. If you choose, let's say none, now sometimes your your notes will be offline. So let's go to none. Now sometimes it will sound awkward because you won't be aligned with a beat. You see? Yes, yeah, so to make sure you are in the beat, let me undo that for a second. Okay, to make sure you are in the beat, just uh, click right here, go to line, press line. So that means all your notes will be snapped to a grid, just like this, okay? So take your time, copy all this method, and then come back to the clap. So we have the ghost notes, now it will be your references. And then come to the hi-hats. So this is where we started. This is where we ended. I mean, then we added um, a clap. Then we added a hi-hat. Then I added these snares. All right, now we finish on our drums. And now your song is ready to be exported and played to impress your friends, your girlfriend, your family. 
whatever, okay? So, we cannot only make drums. So, in FL Studio, we compose the full song, the entire song. So, so starting with the drums, now, the second thing that I always do, not always, but a lot of times, now, I will make my chord progression, chord progression. Now, let me show you in a minute what I mean by that. So, in FL Studio, FL Studio comes with a native plugins that will allow you to play pianos, synth, all those cool instrumentals. Let me show you in a second. So in Alpha Studio, we have a legendary plugin called um, FL Keys. So this has to be your best friend because you'll be using it a lot of times unless you buy some fancy piano plugins, VST. Okay, now let's make a chord progression. Now, if you listen to most EDM songs, you'll hear the piano in there. They play a lot of pianos and synth. Sometimes they don't use a lot of guitars. You know what I'm saying? So, just go ahead and play a note. So, this is the piano. It sounds just like the real piano. So if you, don't, if you don't know anything about music theory, just don't worry about it. When I started, I didn't know any music theory as well. So now let's make our chord progression and start compositing our music. So what I will do, just right click on the uh, FL keys, open piano wall, just like there. Now we have to start drawing our lines. So, just, um, I'm going to start on to see. <laughs> All right, that sounds good. Okay, so what, what is a chord progression? So a chord progression is, uh, is when three, three keys or three notes are played, are being played at the same time. So I don't want to be so tactical. I don't want to go into deep theory about it because I don't know music theory, but I know something, just uh, uh, a little, some materials. So chord progression is when three, three keys, three or more keys, Two or more keys are played together, okay? So just correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Just play the white note. So in this case, let's play. Let's use all the white notes to make our chord progression. So now I have three chord progression. Let's hear it. Oh, it sounds good. All right, so you can move around, but in this thing, we don't got to go crazy. We can move it up here. Just like a minor chord. And that sounds awful. Oh, that sounds good. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. This is C major, C major chord. Just don't worry about any music theory that I'm going to be speeding right here. Okay, just draw your lines. Make sure you are copying, guys. Stop the video if I'm too fast. Just slow it down or speed it up according to your, to your liking. So, so we have like eight bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have to fill this all up to make sure we have a repetitive chord. So, all right. So let me add a more notes. So we are playing random chord. Ooh, that, that sounds good. So we can repeat the first one. Some notes. I mean, you can use this tool right here.
to listen to your chorus. Sounds so awful, so just move this knot a little bit and try it out. Sounds so bad, so ugly. I think she'll be right here. Let's listen. All right, that's perfect. That's perfect. So just remember, remember, we started with the drums. So after drums, and now it's the time to put some instrument in it. So the chord progression is the master. It's like the key of the song. So most of the time, the, oh, the drums don't have keys, okay? So after you play your drums, make sure everything is fine. You like it. All right, now is the time to make a chord progression. Like I told you, a chord progression is when two or more chords are, or more keys are played together. So as you can see, one, two, three, they are being played together. That's a chord progression. So now we're done, guys. So after you put your chord, your chord progression. So the chord progression, this one is going to decide what keys your song is going to be played in. If it's A major, if it's B flat, if it's E sharp, this is the decider. So just draw whatever you want. Whatever sounds good, that's it. We're going to go deep into theory right here, just visually. All right. <laughs> All right, so right now, the song is almost complete. Our beat is almost complete. Now we can add one more thing. So we can go ahead and add another FL keys. Oops, my bad, guys. My computer is trembling. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it with a FL keys. So in this case... We gotta go ahead and play some EDM's basics, uh, those layers. You know what I'm saying? Let's go crazy a little bit. So in EDM is a too easy, guys. Just uh, go ahead and draw your notes. Just like there. <laughs> that is so fast. That's so fast. So go ahead. So just go ahead and draw these notes. So just like that to get some cool and amazing. Um, let's go crazy a little bit right here. Now you know what I'm talking about. Now you will know what I'm talking about. Now let's listen. I'm going to put it on solo. So we can transpose this to try it out. So just uh, hit the control or command and arrow app. Oops, failed. Mission failed. Boom, just like that. All right, so this sounds so good, but let's hear the entire song. <laughs> All right, uh, so sometimes you can come across like what are we, what I saw right now. So this is called pattern. So this is what decides what's right here. Let's say right now we are playing everything on pattern one. So if I go ahead and move it to pattern two now, uh, our work is like clean, there's nothing. If you play, you will hear absolutely silence. If you go to pattern three, the same thing, 
and so on and so forth. So to hear what you played or what you made, remember, always comes to pattern one, okay? Just slide it across, boom, pattern one. So my melody sounds so thin, it doesn't have a body in it. So let me go ahead, let's go ahead and add some body, some weight on it. So just uh, click on this thing right here. It's called, let's call it a highlighter. Then click, drag, draw everything. Then go ahead and press shift if I'm right. Yep. And then put it on, um, just let it right there. And then press command or control arrow down, boom. Now we created another note. So let's not go crazy guys. Let me, let me just go ahead and undo everything. Let's go ahead and undo everything that, all right, so. By the way, if you want to solo track, so let me show you one thing. Just go ahead and click on the track that you want to solo, and then right click on these uh, green things and hit solo. Okay, to unsolo everything, to listen to everything, you can click manually one by one, or you can just go ahead and click on this thing and then hit solo again. It will activate every project, I mean, every single instrumental. So guys, that's about it. So now let's add a bass line and boom, let's wrap up our beats. We are about to finish, guys. Aren't you excited? <laughs> this is the coolest thing. All right, so in Apple Studio, we have a lot of bass um, options, but uh, the most used one and the easiest one to get started with, it's called uh, uh, not Boo Bass. Boo Bass is easy too, but, but uh, what I love is 3x os oscillator. I don't know how to read this. All right, just click on there. All right, so I'm going to add a bass. Now let's see here how, how this bass sounds like. So right now it does not sound like a bass. So what you have to do, just click on this plugin. And you see this, the, it's called the chorus, whatever. Just uh, drag it to your left until it hit 24. Now let's hear it. So now it sounds literally like a bass. So we got to play a bass line. All right. So how do we do that? Just go ahead and open the piano rolls. Right click. Open the piano roll. Just follow your ghost, okay? So how am I based to sound like? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to guess, okay? All right, that sounds so good.
so right now we have our bass note now the beat sounds bigger and a little bit full <laughs> Let's add a little bit more bass. Just go ahead and tweak these plugins out as you as it plays. So right now we have, let's say, our bass line, we have our counter, let's call this counter melody, and we have our chord. So with these only three channels, let me solo them. Remember guys, so if you purchased like this kind of, if you already bought a FL Studio or something, just make sure you save your projects most often. Because sometimes the system crashes, well, if you didn't save your projects, then you will have to start from the beginning. That's so frustrating. Imagine spending five, four, five hours, ten hours on a project and then all of a sudden the system, the system crashes, boom, you're left with nothing. Make sure you save your project most often. Okay. So now we're done, guys. So that's how you make beats in Elf All Studio. Now go ahead, copy everything as it is. Don't go too crazy. Don't, don't go too crazy. Don't go too loud. Just feel comfortable. Play with every single stuff. The, but most importantly, if you have any question, Elf All Studio, we have a great community. Just make sure you go ahead and. Post your comment in the comment section. Ask your question. Put your suggestion. Like write anything. Just make sure you stay uh, uh, respectful and appropriate to, uh, to everybody, guys. All right, so we're done. Now it's time for arrangement. All our drums, everything is already done. Now let's make an arrangement. So what do we do? Now we have to use this thing called playlist. Because right now, even if we say, okay, let's, let, let's export our song. Now you hear nothing because we haven't put everything in our playlist. So this is only the patterns, okay? So in order to listen, to export our beat or our song, we need to put every instrumental into the playlist. So how do you open playlist? Just come right here. This is called playlist. Click right here. Most of the time, if it's your first time, it'll be like this little. Just go ahead and expand it just like that. So this is the playlist. This is where you will be putting every instrumental. Let's say if you play the guitar, so you will arrange everything in this thing. Infinity, I don't know. So we go ahead and remember, this is part in one. That's where we played everything. Make sure you Pay close attention. If you go to pattern two, now there is nothing, even if you play. If you go to three, the same thing as well, four, and so on and so, you know. So just make sure you are in the right pattern. Now we played everything in the pattern one. Of course, you can play things on different pattern as you wish. Okay, so how do you arrange all your songs into playlist? Just go ahead and select the right pattern, as we can see right now. And then, in the playlist, select this draw thing. It's called a draw. I'm going to call this a pencil or a pen. So just go ahead. Boom. Click. Just left click on it. Now, boom. You are drawing everything into the playlist. Boom. 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 Brr. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and play. Put everything starting from the beginning just click drag click drag click drag so the most important things here too is make sure you click on this thing make sure you are on line if you press let's say none sometimes your arrangement will be messed up 
these things will overlap or you leave a little gap, nonsense gap that we messed up your beat. Now let's listen. Okay, so to play things in your time, I mean in your playlist, make sure you click on song. It's called song. Just go ahead and press song. Now you can see this thing right here. It shifts. But that's for the patterns. When you are comp compositing, I mean right here, when you are playing your instrumentals, and this is for the song. So everything will be played in the, um, the playlist. <music> Okay, this is what I'm talking about. So if this thing is on none or everything else right here, so when you are arranging your beats, instrumentals, sometimes you may put some errors. So this, they may overlap just like this. Now let's listen. Now we messed up our arrangement. So what you need to make sure is camera here. Click this green thing, come to line. Now I'm going to delete this. Then just um, put a new one. Make sure you don't overlap, but you can see visually. So I'm gonna just gonna put a lot of these thing, just like that. So right here you can see the timeline. So let's put a thirty second beat. Now let's play it out. <laughs> So it will be starting over and over again. So guys, now we finish. Now after you arrange all your beats right here, that's your song. That's your finished product. Now it's ready to be exported. Boom. Now upload it to YouTube. Share with your friends. Play in your car. Listen to, your, to what you did. Okay. So what you need to do now and then, I mean, if you ask a question, why did you pull the same thing over and over again? So, by definition, the music is a, I'm not going to go like into a specific definition. I don't like definitions of things. So, like, the music, the music, the music is a, when you combine different tracks, different instrumental played and played them together. So, let's say if this guy right here can play guitar if i can play the drums if somebody else can play the piano and then if we play those particular things in a mainly in a time manner basis that's what we call music i don't know if that makes sense so let's say i'm playing a drum he's playing a guitar he's playing pianos now if we practiced and then play everything together on a time basis on a fixed tempo boom that's music so by repeating the same thing over and over that's what make a song okay you cannot find like let's say you put you play this thing right here then you go to pattern two play something different then what yes you can do that but not particularly it's unnecessary so just uh the music in the mu in music production, you just have to copy the same thing over and over. Sometimes the drums have to stay the same throughout the songs. Just go ahead and listen to your favorite songs. So they just take the loops. It's called just a loops. When you play something and then loop it out, boom, you're done. But uh, in future tutorial, we'll be showing you how to make like the real deal beats. But right now we don't want to, we don't try, we are not trying to confuse beginners. So we're done. Now let's go ahead and export our song. Let's share it with everybody, with the world. What you need to do after you finish everything, go ahead and click on file and then export. So let's say MP3 file. You could choose wave, but that's that's gonna the, the file's gonna be bigger. So let's go to MP3. So I'm going to save it on desktop. Desktop. So let's write a tutorial. So I'm going to call this a tutorial. Boom. So 
and then click save okay just make sure you copy all these settings right here because they are really important don't click on unnecessary thing if you click right here you messed up everything just make sure this is unclickable this is unselected and then just hit if you have soundcloud of course you can upload to soundcloud automatically just hit your hit soundcloud right here and then you can manage it connect it but don't worry about that for now just go ahead and hit start boom all right now it's done so depending on how many trunks you created so sometimes it may take longer to export sometimes lesser because we didn't have a lot of instrumentals so instruments i mean so it, here's the beat that we made now let's go ahead and play it out <laughs> So if you are using Mac, just go ahead and press right here, share, and then just airdrop yourself, your beats, your finished project. So I can see my phone on this list. I'm only seeing my brother's phones. All right. Boom. Just click right here. Boom. Save to your phone. Now. When I play it. Yeah, that was me playing through my phone. So guys, we did a good job. Just make sure you don't you don't skip the video. Just watch everything because we'll be giving tips in the middle of the video, in the beginning and the, at the end. So guys, now we're done. That's how you make beat easily in fl studio fl studio 21 so whatever version you have does almost everything stays the same thing so guys go ahead the only thing that you need to put in your mind just uh open up fl studio start making beats so the more you make beats the more tutorial you watch and apply those tutorial in your work then boom in just few weeks few months you'll, get, you'll be getting better and better don't just be watching videos on how to make beat and then boom, sleep. Next time, watch another video, boom, sleep. No, watch a video on how to do things. Then go ahead at your home, wherever you are, start creating. Just create every day. So when I was learning music back four or five years ago, I was making beats almost every single day. I'm not lying, guys. Almost every single day. So my... uh. When I started, all my beats, they sound trashy, so bad. They were like the worst, but I, I was getting better and better because I was watching tutorials, boom, make beats. Watch how to make this, boom, and then applied it at the same time. So just go ahead, watch this tutorial, make it happen. Stay creative, guys. So in the next lessons, we'll be learning how to improve our beats, how to arrange our beats for more professional workflow and all those kind of stuff. So I'd be happy to be getting you back, guys. Make sure you subscribe in order to be getting music production, okay? And hit your notification bell. Now we're done. See you next time. Stay creative.